James was the son of Mary, the half-brother of Jesus. Early in Jesus' ministry, James didn't believe that Jesus was the Messiah. Later, James came to believe, and he served as a leader in the church among the Jewish Christians. In 1820, Joseph Smith read James chapter 1, verse 5, at a time when he was thinking about which church he should join. Joseph read, If any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to him. Joseph decided to pray. Heavenly Father and Jesus appeared. Joseph asked them which church he should join. He was told that he shouldn't join any of them, and through him Jesus would restore his church in the latter days. Joseph's prayer is an example of combining faith with action. Joseph didn't pray to know which church is true so he could tell people at parties. He wanted to know so that he could join that church. Joseph was going to act on what he learned. We can show faith by approaching our spiritual life with the same purpose, the intention to act on what God gives us. James also taught about the power of language. He wrote that the tongue is a small part of the body, but it can have a big impact. In a similar way, a small spark can set a forest on fire. Paul wrote that with a tongue we praise our Lord and Father, and with it we curse men. This should not be. We should use language for good. Just as a small rudder can help navigate a large ship, our words can help us navigate life and our words can strengthen others. You can find a link to the video about Joseph Smith's first vision on the right side of this page.